If you want to calculate the surface area of a cone, you only need to know two dimensions. The first is the slant height, L, and the second is the radius. So what we're going to do is we're going to separate this into two pieces. The first is the base, which is a circle with radius R, and the second is the slant height, L. So if I cut, if I took a scissors and cut the cone part, and I fanned it out, it would look like a sector. Well, what I could do here is I could rearrange this sector into a parallelogram. So again, if I cut this into really tiny pieces, then I would be able to organize it into a parallelogram where I would be able to calculate its area. And the way that we would calculate its area is first by saying, well, what are these lines that are going out? Well, those lines are going to be your L, your slant height. And this side right here is going to be half of your circumference. And half of a circumference is pi times r, because a whole circumference is 2 pi r. So this down here is also pi times r. So if our height is L and our base is pi times r, then the area of this is equal to pi times r times L. So the surface area of a cone, which I'm going to write over here, is equal to the base, pi r squared, plus this lateral area, which is found using your slant height. So that's going to be pi times r times L. So you only need to know two dimensions, the radius and the slant height, and you can calculate the surface area of any cone.